All right, hey, this is Danita with Booty Bands, and we have a beautiful group today um, to teach us about uh, the three different parts of the booty, so basically the booty anatomy. <laughs> so uh, go ahead and grab your own butt, and you on camera as well. Grab your booty, and I want you to say thank you. Our bodies are very unique. And we need to be appreciative for what we got. And so once you realize that it's a self-love before you develop into changing your body, you want to love what you have first. Hi, I'm Adora. I'm Sandra. I'm Shannon. I'm Corey. I'm Stacy. I'm Amy. Go ahead and put your hands on your hips. And I want you to find your medius. Your medius is going to be the top portion of your glutes. No, that's your minimus. So put your hands on your hips. Go ahead and take a look at me, everyone and you're going to find right below your back, you're going to find a muscle that's right there. So I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna push on your guys' medius. And if it hurts, it's because you've been working, doing some medius workouts. Yep, you've got it, right in here. Yep, got it. Got it. Yep, there you go. Okay, so that's your medius. Next, let's go to our maximus. Your maximus is the center of your glutes and this is your volumizer. So we all found our maximus. Awesome. Next is our minimus. Go ahead and put your hands on the bottom of your glutes. This is what separates your hamstrings from your glutes. Yep. And it's the uh, stabilizer. So now you know the three parts to the booty and obviously the booty's anatomy. Now I'm going to teach you how to lift, round, and bubble that booty now. All right. So first uh, for our medius workout we're going to do is the mermaid. So Sandy is going to go ahead and show us the clam first. So this is essentially going to be lifting our booty by working the medius, and you'll go ahead and see that. Adora is going to be working on a lateral squat. So squat, uh-huh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, I mean she's got a really strong booty you guys. What the biggest focus is with the medius is if you're always in one plane, so for example a runner, okay, is never going to be working the medius, so it's going to end up being um, a, a really relaxed or weak muscle, I guess you could say, for runners. And so this would be a really good exercise if you only do stay in one plane and this is all that you do. Okay, so if you're only focused on lunges all the time, and let's say you're focused on squats all the time and deadlifts all the time, but you never do your lateral movements, you see how your medius can get really weak? And your medius is a great one for actually your low back, your hips and your knees. So if you're experiencing any pain in those areas, I highly recommend doing some lateral movements like these to be able to help strengthen those different areas for you. So we have Corey over here, he's gonna show us a bridge. So she's going to lie down flat. So she will be working her maximus in the bridge. She's gonna focus on putting her heels um, just right underneath her, right underneath her knee. So bring them down in a little bit more. Um, we'll hit distance apart, so go back wide. Perfect. Go ahead and lift up through your heels and squeeze your glutes. Perfect. You can bring your hands out like this to the side so you don't use your hands, and then go back down. Perfect. Back up and squeeze. Beautiful, that was perfect. All right, so again, we're working on the maximus of the biggest part of our booty, and she's gonna show us what a hip thrust is. So what the difference between a bridge and a hip thrust is these ones are elevated. So again, she's gonna put her feet right underneath her knee, so bring them back just a little bit for me. Perfect. And she's gonna go ahead and uh, drop her booty down, and then come up and squeeze those glutes. But these look perfect. Your focus on these is really get a good nice squeeze and holding up at the top. If you go too fast through this, you're losing the time under tension, which is really going to build that muscle in that area. All right, so uh, now we're working the minimus, so the bottom part of our glutes. And we got Stacy here, she's gonna show us a pistol squat. So what she's going to do is she's going to first lean against the uh, TRX. If you don't have a TRX, you can actually essentially just hold on to something in the gym and you can just do a squat that's just straight up and down. She's um, doing obviously the TRX, but you don't have to have the TRX. Awesome, so she's gonna do a modification. The biggest thing about your minimus is the balance. All right, so that's what's going to really strengthen our minimus is um, focusing on balance. As you can tell, she has her heel down. So this is going to be a modified uh, pistol squat. All right, so we got Amy over here and she's going to do some curtsy lunges for us. So uh, what you're gonna do is place one foot flat 
and the other leg is going to go across and back like you're doing a nice little curtsy. Perfect, and what she's got is she's got a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle back here and she's gonna come up, push this heel into the ground and come up and squeeze. Beautiful, that's perfect. Come down and then you're gonna come up, touch that foot to the other one. Go down and come up and touch and squeeze those glutes. Come down, come up and squeeze, good. So again, do you kind of feel your balance on these because you're doing a one leg? So your minimus is definitely gonna be activated there as you're focusing on balance. All right, so you've learned the booty's anatomy. You have the medius, the maximus, and the minimus. All right, so join us in our workout. I'll go ahead and list the workout and go ahead and see how much fun we're gonna have. So the next medius workout is the uh, lateral side leg. So I guess I just call it the teeter-totter, perfect. And then we have a door and she's gonna be doing our fire hydrants. Perfect. So you're just going to perfect form. Yep, she's got her toes out and her hips are a little bit wider, or her feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. She's going to bring that kettlebell down to the ground, get nice and low, even lower, and come up and squeeze your glutes. Perfect. And you're going to be doing our um, Roman deadlifts. So go ahead and pick up your weight. Yep, I got, I got a good nice heavy one there for you. So notice, so look right at my legs. Notice that my knees are slightly bent. Take your shoulders up, roll them out, and drop and put your chest up. From there, you're going to just stick your butt clear out, get a nice good stretch through your hamstrings, and come up and squeeze. Good, do it again. Beautiful. Okay, our next minimus workout is our hip hitch. So essentially what she's gonna do is keep this foot flat on a flat surface, drop that hip. Yep. This, this hip? Drop this hip here. Mm -hmm. And then come up with it. Good. And drop and lift. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Good. You feel the balancing there? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yep, keep working on that. And you were gonna go ahead and see Amy do some step ups for us. Okay. I'm gonna make sure she's got a good, nice, wide range with her step ups and she's digging her heel into the uh, curve there. Good, notice you guys see a lot of balance on these girls. So this is your supporting, right? So that's gonna be your balancer. <laughs> Great job, and then flip to the other side. Okay. So now I'm gonna get personal with the girls and I want them to tell me which areas that they would like to work on. So that way it can also help you if you have any of these concerns as well. Okay. All right, Sandy. I want to get rid of this holes I have here. Okay, so since you guys might hear it as violin hips is probably what you see a lot. So what we're gonna focus on is building muscle for Sandy. So she has lost a lot of weight with me and what essentially what that has done, you probably have noticed, as she's lost her fat in that area. So instead we're gonna focus on building muscle in that area through a lot of our lateral and a lot of our single leg exercises, okay? So step ups are gonna be really good, the booty bands to do those, your lateral walks will be really good, and essentially a lot of curtsy lunges as well. So that's gonna really build in that area and you're gonna start seeing a big difference by putting the muscle to make it a good, nice, round look. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you a workout today for just that, okay? So her workout for today, she's gonna to start off with single leg pistol squats. She's gonna do 10 on each leg. After that, she's gonna do curtsies, curtsy lunges, 10 on each leg. After that, she's gonna come over here, she's gonna do mermaids, and then after that, she will do her lateral walks. More, you know, yeah. it just will keep it cool. And then I'm gonna focus on your maximus. I'm gonna pop you out a little bit more. Cool? Do you need a maximus, right? Yep. Wow. Does that like, like bubbly? Like is that like bubble? That's gonna pop you out. Bubble. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I think actually for both of you guys, since you are similar, I might use you guys both at the same time. Yeah. And it's because I could see both a lift and kind of out like it would be that, but you guys are, it looks good. Up and so. out. <laughs> Up and out. So Corey and Amy both have similar uh, genetics. And so they both have a really good size to their glutes. Um, I'm gonna focus a lot on lifting both of them and maximizing both of them. So their they'll, uh, workout will be obviously the um, lateral stuff as well as the weighted um, hip thrusts and bridges and stuff like that. So very similar. Right here with your shoulder blades onto the, uh, the bench, right? Put your weight right here so you'll put that kettlebell down. Come here, you don't need to go all the way down with your glutes. Come about right here and then you're gonna come up and squeeze. Okay. Cool. Yep, so about right onto your hips. Good. Okay. Yep. 
and then lower your yep, lower your glutes down. Keep your shoulder blades on the mat, mat itself. Perfect. And then come up and squeeze your glutes, digging your heels into the ground. Got it. Perfect. Come down and squeeze. So you were doing bridges earlier. Mm -hmm. These are essentially the same things, but now your back is up on something. And these are called hip thrusts. Amy is a pro at her straight leg deadlifts. So as you can see that she is all into her hamstrings as she's getting a good nice stretch and then she's coming up and squeezing. Notice where her chest is. Her chest is always lifted. She's not rounding through her back and she is staying through her heels. You can tell that I can even put my fingers underneath her toes because she's staying all back in here. Those are perfect. Thanks girls, go ahead and hit subscribe and go ahead and get your booty band on the link below.